Hey guys, so today is going to be October favorites and I'm getting this up either a day before or on Halloween. So happy Halloween to you guys who celebrate Halloween. I guess I'll just say like everyone else says, I cannot believe October is already over. October is my anniversary month on the dress on the dress and eyes anniversary month <laughs> if you guys don't know we got married on october 8th which i posted several videos about it um in fact i will link our original wedding video our anniversary video and our vlog follow, follow me around vlog um here somewhere or here so that you guys could check that out if you like but yeah so october is just a special month to me in general and then of course i always i like it because it's fall time so i'm trying to get this up before these uh, natural daylight goes down because I get tired of filming in the same location with the same background all the time so hopefully this works out uh, works out I don't have that many products this month so cross our fingers okay so let's go ahead and get started the first product that I want to talk to you guys about is a bar of soap and um, this is actually just a little container travel container that I have it in but this is the uh, Cebu sea buckthorn body wash uh, cleansing I, I think it's body and face cleansing bar or something like that but this bar in particular just looks like this as you can tell I've used quite a bit of it it does get a little bit of grime on it because it's bar it's it's I don't know it's not my favorite thing to use like in the solid form but I absolutely love Cebu was kind enough to I Instagram this a while back but Cebu was kind enough to send me some products to try out because I had purchased I would put in one of my haul videos that I purchased their daytime moisturizer and I really wanted to try the rest of the products so they ended up contacting me and see if I wanted to try them and I do want to do an entire video regarding them but I have to say that I really really enjoy this I don't enjoy all the products but this facial bar is uh, definitely by far one of my most favorite cleansers that I have this bar I think retails for like $5.95 really inexpensive like I said I don't really care for the fact that it's in a bar form um, because it can get a little bit grimy if you put it in the shower which I notice quite quickly you can't really use this in the shower because it does get quite gross um, so I have to use it by the sink and I'm not a huge fan of it if you guys have tried Cebu Cebu products and the uh, facial cleanser the one in the pump is similar to this let me know in the comments down below because I'm interested to try it I really like the way that this actually makes your skin feel clean without making it feel like dr too dry or overly moisturized I like this a lot next product is a candle and you guys know that I am on project no bath and body works until December 26 which yay two thumbs up or one and a half thumbs whatever I have stuck to it I have not even been by a bath and body works since I said that I wasn't going to um, which I think was in a, a haul but I have actually not been in a bath and body works for a little over two months now which I think is amazing so anyway I um this is the lavender vanilla from the White Barn line from, uh, it used to be Slatkin & Co. I don't really know what the difference is, but this scent in particular is just so calming and cozy to me, and it reminds me so much of fall and winter time. I don't know, it's just is very soothing, and it makes your house smell amazing. I love burning this right before bedtime because I feel like it just naturally puts me to sleep. Okay, now I guess I'll move into makeup. This first product, makeup product, is a foundation, and I actually have an entire review on this makeup product, which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I will link the um, product review up here if you guys have not checked it out. It was one of my latest videos. I absolutely love, love this foundation. I've mentioned to you guys before that Revlon Color Stay and the Whipped Cream Foundation from Revlon, they're by far my all-time favorite all-time favorite, but my current favorite right now is the Urban Decay. I really feel like this foundation is light enough coverage to where you can definitely, I'm not wearing it today, I'm actually just wearing a concealer today, but it's light enough to foundation to where you could wear it on a daily basis, but it's also heavy enough to where it's buildable if you need it for a nighttime look. So I think that this is a, a fantastic foundation in general. Um, like I said, you can check out that review video if you want more in-depth detail and demonstration on this foundation. Next is a lip product, and I actually have three different colors, but I just, I like the product specifically, and these are the MAC Kissable Lip Colors. I don't know that these have been re-released. I know that they were for the holiday collection or some collection earlier in the year. I have three colors here, Enchante, Vanity Fair, and Woomi. I'm wearing Woomi today. I just feel like these are absolutely awesome awesome products they're like a mix between a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss that's woomy right there this one right here so I think like I was saying it's it's 
definitely pigmented enough to have it as a liquid lipstick, but they're also very, very glossy. I do have a gloss over this one. I have um, Ample Pink from MAC, the plush glass, but like these colors here, I just have to show you this pigmentation. This one right here is Vanity Fair, and that's Un Chante. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. But so you can see there that they're just super opaque lipstick colors, but they come in the gloss tube, which is super like convenient. And then they also give you that shine on the lips, and they're super smooth. In my last video, which was a outfit of the day, I think it was the outfit of the day video, going to that wedding, I sh told you guys that I had on the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, and I got so, so many compliments on my eyelashes as how long they looked. So thank you guys for one, but for two, I really have to give credit to the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This by far has been one of my most favorite mascaras, which is funny because when I first got it, I was so skeptical. I was like... I really can't stand this mascara. I This is a gold packaging. I don't know if this is different, but it's in the color black is black, and all it says is L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. So look for the one in the gold packaging. Again, I've seen the one in silver. I don't know if it's different, but the little brush looks like this. So as you can see, it is a very skinny, tiny brush. It has plastic bristles. And at first, like I was saying, I did not like the, this mascara at all. I felt like it, put, it picked up way too much mascara. It was making my lashes very clumpy, not long at all. I just, it was entirely too wet. I mean, I would blink and the mascara would be completely under my eyes. I was not satisfied whatsoever. And in fact, I mentioned that, I think in the video where I bought it, I just was not happy with it at all but as it dried out I noticed that it started to get better and better you guys know that I very rarely let a product go to waste especially if I can't sell it if I can resell it or return it I'm fine but if I have to use it I will not let it go to waste so I was trying to use it up and I just noticed that it started to get better and better with time and it's just an amazing mascara. I definitely have to give kudos to this mascara. My lashes are looking amazing lately. I don't know if you guys can tell how long they are um, from this close back and I also have a little bit of a darker eye makeup so I don't know if you'll be able to tell but I just absolutely love this mascara and what it does for my lashes overall. I have to just give a slight mention to the Prestige My Blackest Lashes. This is in um, the color Black is Black as well. You can get this from um, Ulta. I know a lot of people are having a hard time getting this because it seems to always be sold out. It has just a basic wand, kind of on the chunkier side, with um, basic brush bristles. It's not a plastic wand. I, of course, got this recommendation from Michelle1218. You guys know I love her videos. And when I first got this, super disappointed. I was like, this is doing nothing for my lashes. I mean, it didn't, it was like $6. I can buy my Maybelline Falsies for that price or a little bit less and be way more satisfied than I was with this. So again, I kind of gave it some time. Really love this for volume. I actually have been layering the telescopic with this to get like the perfect lengthening and volume mascara. I mean, if they could just shove these two together, if these two could have a baby, it would be like the perfect mascara for my lashes at least. So I do have to give a mention to that, but I am perfectly fine wearing the telescopic by itself because it does an amazing job at lengthening. And if you put two to three layers, it does volumize as well. ice cream man. Okay, last makeup product is actually a blush and this blush was inspired by my makeup collection or my blush collection video which again I'm linking a lot of videos but if you guys haven't seen my blush collection video I will put it up here somewhere for you to check out. I um I just am a sucker for blush. I mentioned that to you guys in that video and if you couldn't tell the video is like freaking 20 minutes long that's how many blush products I have but anyway I, I I just, I really started to rediscover my blushes when I was doing that video because I just realized how many blushes I have and how many I never use. So one of those is my NARS blush. This is in Deep Throat. It is just a very like gorgeous pinky, pinky peach gold. I don't really even know how to describe it. And we're getting a little dark here. So hopefully you guys can bear with me, but the blush is an absolute gorgeous color. Um, there it is right there. 
and I'm actually wearing it today. So again, really pretty color. Uh, the NARS blushes are super expensive. I think they retail for like $28. So it's definitely one that I didn't want to let go. I wanted to make sure that I was going to use it and, you know, just like any of my other blushes. Although with a drugstore blush, I don't feel as guilty for not using it. It's not as expensive. With my higher end products, I tend to use my drugstore ones. What can I say? And so I really wanted to give this a go um, again. And I really have just been wearing it like every day since the blush collection video. I have one more product and then I wanted to talk to you guys about something else. So this next product has actually is actually a purse and this is the um, Tycoon purse from maybe um, Typhoon. I actually I'll put the name of it right here because I can't remember if it's Tycoon or Typhoon. I think it's Tycoon. But anyway, this is a Tycoon purse from JustBab.com and I've actually had this for a while. You guys have seen it in a couple different videos already. I had it in an outfit of the day and then also the haul video where I got it. I absolutely have been loving this purse. I, I just can't get enough of it. I, I just recently actually switched it out um, yesterday. I switched back to my uh, Louis Vuitton Delightful just because I like to switch up my bags every now and then to give them all, you know, a little bit of love in. Um, but this one was just awesome, awesome to me. For $40, $39.95 is how much Just Fab's um, items cost and for $40 I just could not believe how good of a purse it was I mean I have purses that are literally 20 times the price of this and even more expensive than that that I, and I just I was wearing this literally for since I bought it I can't even remember months on in and so I just thought it was a really awesome bag it did come with a longer strap that I had on it the entire time it has three divided sections here. I just, it's an awesome, awesome bag. I really have to give props to JustFab.com because they did a really good job like making their bags. I want to buy another one. In fact, It's Judy Time has like a camel color one that I really want to buy. Not necessarily the bag she has, but just a camel color bag in general. So if you guys have any like brown or camel or tan colored bags from JustFab.com, let me know which ones you own in the comments down below and what you think of them because like I said, I really want to get another one. I'm super, super enjoying their stuff. I'll put, um, I think I have a 25% coupon, either 25 or 50% off coupon um, and I'll put that in the bottom bar for you guys in case you want to check it out. And then the very last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, I have been meaning to talk to you guys about for a very long time now. Please excuse the um, lighting because it is starting to get dark in here, but I've been wanting to talk to you guys about this for some time now, and it's a website. And you guys know I love me some shopping, and I absolutely love to do online shopping as well. It's like my weakness. I work at a computer all day, so I have nothing else to do besides look on the internet for stuff. The website that I've been really really enjoying is called Ebates. I'll put the link down to it below but pretty much what Ebates is, it's not eBay, it's Ebates. <laughs> E-B-A-T-E-S dot com. But pretty much what it is is a place, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it, you go online, you, you go through a retail store on their website and if you purchase from that retail store you get a percentage cash back. So like Target, I think is 1%, maybe it's 2%, but you go on to ebates.com, you know, log into your information, you go click on the Target website from Ebates' website, it'll take you to the main page at Target, and if you purchase through that click, you'll get 1% or 2% back on whatever you purchase. So, and there's a ton of websites on there, like I literally bought my nursing scrubs, on, uh, I think it was MyNursingScrubs.com or something like that from Ebates and I got 8% cash back. I was like, holy moly, just for scrubs. Like, I mean, it's crazy to me if you shop at Sephora, Ulta, Target, Macy's, JCPenney, Dillard's, I don't even know. There's so many things, Sears, like so many places on there that you can buy stuff from online now what I have whenever I purchase anything if I'm gonna go to the store and purchase it I will look on Ebates to see how much the cash the cash back is for that website to see if it's worth me buying it in the store or if it's worth me you know purchasing on the website when I first signed up for it over the summer I I just wasn't you know I wasn't that into it I think I got like $15 cash back but this coming cash back I think I think they give it to you like November 1st or, or maybe the end of November I don't know but I already have like $190 pending and that's ridiculous like 
ridiculous. I $190 just for shopping. And of course you guys know that I find coupon codes to give me free shipping or to give me a percentage off and like the in stores don't do that. So I think that that website is awesome. I even had a subscriber um, tweet me and she told me, you know, make sure to tell your subscribers because not, not that many people know about it. And so, yeah, now I'm sharing the love with you guys. So I'll put, put the link down below if you're interested in, you know, signing up for it. I think, and it's totally free. I forgot to mention that. Totally free. I think it's awesome if you do a lot of online shopping. You might as well get some cash back in the process. That's my thought. So, yeah. Oh, and the other thing I've been loving is top buns. I had a request to, for you guys to see, like, a messy bun. Do you, would you guys be interested in seeing a messy bun? Let me know in the comments down below. I know it's kind of dark. You can't really see the one I have right now, but I'd be happy to show you guys. I just have seen so many tutorials on it lately that I didn't think it would really be worth it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my October favorites. I cannot wait until November, which is like tomorrow. <laughs> I cannot wait till November because, of course, it's my birthday month and then one month till Christmas and Thanksgiving. So, yeah, my birthday is November 22nd. It's going to be on Thanksgiving this year. So, everywhere around the United States, if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, then think of me because that'll be my birthday day. Yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites. Don't forget to post a video response showing me your favorites or leave them in the comments down below. I always get awesome recommendations from you guys on my monthly favorites videos. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!